Hey, how's it going everybody? Weekend War Attacks. You can see the timer is ticking down. Equalizer War, and we've got some work to do. I believe it is 14 flags to 14 flags. We're down by, what is it, 122 points. So, we gotta hope they choke a bit on some of our defenses here. So... Um, there's not that many points on the board, but this team is a bit higher points, so might as well go for it. Um, I think I'm going to mix up my teams a little bit this time. Um, so normally... Alfreich has been part of my Zanolfad and uh, Ludwig team, but I'm going to go back to my classic Grimble team. Who's on that team? Lepiota? I think so. So, again, not the best team because of Equalizer. But... I think it can do fine if I time things out carefully. And so that's what we'll do. Um... Grimble's pretty important, so we'll give him the better troop. All right. Just got to watch that equalizer bar. And then Ninja Tower is coming around on February 1st, I think. And then I will finally have... I think I'll have enough troop tokens to have all level 29 troops. So that will be good. Okay. How do I want to do this? Okay, good. Yellow diamond over there. We just need a frickin' purple. So, we gotta be careful of Bira, who's on her way out. Uh, we got AoE damage coming, so let's go. Yellows with the fucking equalizer again. So we'll hold Leidenbrock so we can make sure our heal counts. But we'll use Sif for uh, Odin. Nope. I think we're screwed. I think it's going to go off before his turn. Oh, there's purples. Alright, well, so I can try to get some yellows off the board, or I can just keep trying to work the purples. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven only. Which means I can't use Leidenbrock now and then get her again from the diamond. <sighs> Odin is limit broken, so it's probably going to hurt. But we're going to heal again, and no one's going to be hitting us. So let's just try to get some 
fucking purples. God, that dragon bomb is gonna have me one purple short. What can I do here? I'll just take him and hope that I can get something else. Okay. Definitely ghosting her, even if just for a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine. It's not going to be enough to charge Leidenbrock because she doesn't have the mana boost from Sif. But, oh God, I need to get some purples in here. I think I'm just going to go for it because it's going to cause a pretty big combo, which even if Odin goes off because of, will weaken him. Come on, yellow or something. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> oh, great timing for her. All right, cool. Odin is not ready. Oh, good timing for Equalizer for me. But Sif is dead. All right, so we're going to remove a whole lot of minions here. We're going to heal. Hopefully we hit Odin. Okay, good. And I guess we'll take her out and see if this kills Bira. Alright, no more minions to hit, so we want to ghost while we can. Okay, our heal is gone. Uh, might as well keep the damage from her off of us. Timer is going. Perfect timing. Well, not perfect because of that, but almost. Yeah. Oh, I should have used Lepiota, but we'll be okay. Beautiful. All right. A little sketchy because of Equalizer, but we got there. So there's a bunch of 51s now, so that's what we'll go for. Not a very optimized team. I mean, broken Jabberwock. That's the first... Forty-eight, no way. Freya. Scotty's a no now for Equalizer because the stacks just go away. Um I don't have one worked out, but this could be an interesting ferret team because as long as they have minions, they're not gonna be able to fire their special skills. 
Ferent kind of turns your own minions into Lady of the Lake minions against you. Where they're just robbing your mana. Uh, that could be interesting. We could try something new here. I don't know if it's good to prototype teams during war, but... So... Some good healing. I'm getting close to the point where I think I can have overhealers on every team. And I think one other healer. This is starting to feel a little risky, but not as bad with a Freya tank. So, what do I have in terms of healers? I think she's yellow again, but I think she's a good idea. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. See how it goes. Maybe it's terrible and I shouldn't have done it, but it did feel worth a try. So yellow and red. This will set up some other yellows. Not much red. That's going to be a problem. God damn, where's the red? Crazy. Um, I might as well heal. Because I'm going to match more yellows. And it kind of feels like a match where I'm going to need to get started on the second heal. Oh, that was a dumb choice. Oh, three turns. Maybe we can just barely get it, but I think probably not. Wow, I'm in fucked here without any reds, though. Just endless purples and greens. Are you kidding me? Yep. One turn left, not gonna get the chance. Lesson learned, okay. This is going really, really bad. Just need to get that fucking red up there. Alright, come on. Fucking come on. (laughs) 
Alright, gotta take the heal again. My god, what is happening with this board? <laughs> this is crazy! we're about to smack him here if we can keep Ruby alive so he's got minions on him counterattack's going to clear before he has the potential to chain through two and Ruby does have the potential to die so even though it's not ideal I think that I should use <laughs> These hits now. Oh, I can steal mana from him. Idiot and dummy. So we'll steal mana. Oh, okay. Hey! Did that happen before? Does Equalizer clearing it set it off? Someone let me know in the comments. I'm having a... Rough war here. <laughs> wow, well, despite how fucking long it took to get reds, this team survived very well. Kind of amazed I'm still hanging on here. Alright, um, yeah, I chose to drop that red down instead of match it first because I wanted to try to get a combo, and we did, so it paid off. Oop. Oh my god. Well, we ended it over our starting health, so not too bad, but what a slog that was. Kunshin, Inari. We'll go yellow team here. <sighs> so green diamond could be beautiful the difference between winning and losing do I just go for it think yes okay damn it don't touch my minions Piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, so I can make the two variations of a red purple. I can take yellows into Francine. I think red purple because we have Jean Francois coming up. So Kunchen setting him off now will clear that effect from us. 
And Jean Francois is not ready, so that's good. And unfortunately, my final yellow match is into Anari. Nope, I have another yellow match. So I don't care if Jean Francois goes off, because Gazelle is going to clear it immediately. And Equalizer goes off, and we're fucking ready to roll. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, not having a great war. Alright, so maybe we go for this side because they're already weakened. So any defense down gets flipped, right? Affecting defense. So we want to go in reverse order. Okay. That worked out decently well. We'll go ahead and get this back. Fortunately, I can't use it for a heal, but... Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Let's see if we can kill this guy. While Gazelle is active. All right, now we can get the heal. Well, despite a bunch of blundering errors, I'm actually doing pretty well. Oh, that one sword minion is saving my ass. I was like, why does Zanari keep... I keep thinking her mana's full. What's going on? One sword minion is just going to work. Ha <laughs> ha! That's amazing. Awesome. All right. Nine to eight. We have eight. Yep, so we're still down by a little bit. They did fail one. Okay, Bira is... she's still pretty good in Equalizer. I think this is a green team opportunity. Oh, so soon, a 23 and a 29 in every color. I have it for three of them, but purple and green. Two we're looking at are the only two left behind. All right. So I was sizing up this team before the war, and it was kind of interesting that they're not filled with the most elite heroes, but they all have really high level troops, which is interesting. Uh, maybe. Sorry, let me just double check. So I have three left. And there's enough 51s, I think. No. But well, I want to go for this with my green team. Probably. It's a bit more of a dangerous team, too. Can do something else here. I still have a Ludwig team I want to use. This could be a good spot for it. But I'll have to put a different hero than Alfreich. Okay. Let's go. How about that? Not a horrible, horrible board. Not a great board, but... So Faline is a hero you don't want to set off early because one of your heroes at least will be significantly slowed down.
Okay, not bad. Got our greens now. So, we get one kill. All right, easy. Shit. We got one kill. Who do we want it to be? I guess she makes sense as a target. And then I can't get my purples without matching the greens. Do we think that's going to kill Freya? Probably. Uh, but I don't even have a way. I was thinking I could just give some tiles to Freya. They'll get a couple more minions, but it'll help me. I know, if she dies, I have my mana boost, so I'll get the mana right back anyways. Goes away, comes back. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. That was really fucking dumb. Equalizer. So we're gonna go... Ugh, it's gonna take that away from him. I was thinking, do I want to go blue... Diamond. I think I'll just take the green match, actually. So, he has no minions, but it's going to clear the attack down from him. Alright, so... I'm not too worried about the penguin with no minions, so I think Falling, since she's limit broken... What does this guy do? I right, know what he does, but how hard does he hit? 250. Not really worried about 250. So maybe we'll try to set him off with the attack down. While we build something back up. Ooh. Everybody watch out. Kong's doing mediocre damage. Will this kill? No. Will that kill? No. But that will. Oh, wow. 1451. Okay, this is going well, but is it going well enough? Seven to five. Oh, you one-shotted me, huh? Two failed hits, though. Well, we'll just have to see if it's enough. All right, we're down to all 50s. Oh, and we're forced to take a cleanup. Five. So that'll be four left with three full teams. All right, so that's, let's see what my team's gonna be and then decide where it'll be good. God, it's so tempting to want to take Scotty. All right, so I've got a Ludwig team, and I've got a Penguin team. Need one of those tomes of golden emblems. Okay. So 
So I've got a penguin team. And I've got a Ludwig team. Shit. Penguin team and a Ludwig team. I don't want that trash. So I guess we'll go here. We have a blue team, so that's pretty good. So that's going to be you. You. And you, my friend. And then these two lovely ladies. I think we're going to give you the bigger troop and we'll give you the attack troop. Fucking limit broke. Octros. This guy's quite dangerous. We have no boosted health, so we don't have to worry about yellow sniper as much. Dispel on the right is an odd choice. I guess they want to defense down first. Alrighty. Okay, this is the kind of start you want to be very careful with because maybe you can make something Oh man So if we can get this blue here Blue diamond, but I've only got that yellow match And then the reds get screwed up Let's see if we can make it work, because that would just be game over. I can also make the purple at the top, which will combo purples again, and blues, and maybe more, but let's see if we can work this diamond. Yep. All right. So, the question is, do I want to try to match another set of purples first, or just target Octros and try to settle for getting a kill? <sighs> I feel like I want to enhance this, but it's getting real risky. Magni could potentially, yeah, I think it's, I think that's too risky. So, he's only going to hit five extra times, so it's possible that Octoros doesn't even get killed unless I target him. But maybe that's okay. Equalizer's going to clear the defense down before it becomes a problem. So, we'll just do, fuck, I can't decide. Kind of want to push my luck for one turn. It's not lo not worth losing the penguin. Nope. All right, it's not worth it. All right, we have six minions, so that'll be a guaranteed kill. And some decent damage outside of that. Now, oh yeah, ha <laughs> ha, let's see that was worth it, yeah, Kirill on this team is fucking amazing, um, and I think I'm going to make a team with Athena and Asterius, I don't know, all my teams are in flux right now. 
So let's just wait. All right, all they had to do was fire once. And we got this in the bag. Nice. All right, one more. So I guess it's this. So this will be my Ludwig team. So we saved Ariel. Don't know if I want Loki yet, but let's consider it a maybe. Ludwig. And who? Can't believe I didn't use Garnet and Black Knight. This is where Dark Lord would be <laughs> insane. I'd just be covered in poison. It's like, it's overkill actually, which is not something that you get to say very often with team building. So, could put Quinnell. She's not the best there because you want multiple turns to go by. You don't want her to fire super often. Because that skill resets every time. I could put Athena here and just... That would allow her potentially to hit with her own defense down. Milena hits hard, but not hard enough to justify being in that seat. Octros could be pretty nasty. Rain could be pretty nasty. But I think Athena is more dangerous there. Even Asterius could be pretty nasty there. Because he'd be hitting potentially with his own defense down. Everyone's got burn damage on them. But those are a lot of statuses where I think Athena, especially with the limit break, is... Oh, I don't have enough troops for these heroes. So maybe that's okay for her to not have the mana troop because she's going to be getting boosted mana, hopefully. So, I think this could work. It's not the best thing, but it's far from the worst. Alright, last team. They failed again. They're not failing by a lot, though, so... Maybe it doesn't matter. Alright, we gotta try to... Work some combos here. Hmm. Ursula is quite charged. I think Red Diamond bunched some stuff up. Push some tiles through. Alright, we're getting... We're getting per... Ooh! We're getting blues first, is what I mean to say. Okay, so we'll take some damage due to stupid Rusula, but... We'll be okay with that. What do I want to do here? I think I just want to heal, actually. But maybe we'll... Save Ariel. Since she has less health, so only Loki will take damage. Fuck! Alright, well, we have to use Ariel now. We can't. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be okay. It's going to be okay. She's gonna get her mana back anyways, so I'm gonna kill Yang Mai. Bet she didn't think that would kill, huh? 
All right, now we'll fuck with him with Rusula a little bit. Doesn't matter if you evaded, because I got the ailment. And now... Equalizer. We're not going to go off right away, so let's save the fireworks for after Equalizer. Forgot that could happen. And you did. Alright, time for the fireworks. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I fucked up this war and still managed to pull it off. Uh, guess who wasn't thinking that Equalizer will remove the buff from Ludwig? Any guesses? Me. Alright, so now we just gotta do it all with Athena. So I don't even get to use the best part of that mana gain. But this should do it. Will it kill? Let's find out. Not quite. So we don't want to set him off and heal because we could be undoing a lot of progress here. Oh god. So... Okay, that should do it. Alright, we made it work. Horrible mistakes and all. Um, who knows if we'll pull this off. So zero flags left. They only need 200 points with five flags. So if they fail, they need to fail two of them, I think. We got a reservation for 50 points. We got an attack for 48 points. They're not being super smart about the points here. All right, so... Six minutes. Maybe I'll let the war run out, and you can uh, skip forward if you want. Okay, so they need 37 points. That would then be 43, 53, 153 points with three flags. And they're going for a cleanup. What the fuck are they doing? Am I wrong or are they wrong? So he's going for a 51. So these are their last, are they have four flags? That's why. Four flags to get it. Okay. Well, they're really putting... They should wait to go for this cleanup before they see what happens. Not that they're going to fail the cleanup, but that they really need... Um, you know, if someone fails a one-shot, the cleanup might not be enough, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so they need 103 points. They have three flags. This cleanup is... 29. So it's all on this guy, basically. Or maybe even if he fails, they'll get a... I think we lost, and I think we lost by almost nothing, which really sucks. So he's going for 51, which would be 764. Or 51 would be 793. And then they would need 723 points. Oh, that would be to tie. <laughs> oh, there's 24. Damn, one fucking Magni is 24 points. Fucking hell, if he gets the one shot, they can win by one point. <sighs> That's really frustrating. All right, I'm not going to sit and watch that because I'm going to be too mad. I guess maybe we'll watch this hit. This is a freaking good team. That guy is bold. 
all max troops. That is a bold, bold choice for the end of this war. We've got a lot of tough teams left, though. Please fuck up. Please fuck up. Uh, I guess I am watching it after all. So, does he have two flags left? There's this guy. Yep. Please fuck up. But even doing his own cleanup. No, it wouldn't be enough. If he fucks up, we win. If he doesn't fuck up, we lose. Wow. Fuck. 24 points, and he's got it right there. Damn. All right, well, we fucking lost by next to nothing. That sucks. We didn't even get the top spot either, but we were damn close. Uh, so let's see, what is that? One, two, three, four. So five and five for the top ten, that's pretty good. And they just held a little bit more in the middle. Yeah, we had just um, too many scores at the bottom, but that's what happens sometimes. Watch them attack a full team and then we win. <laughs> No, they're probably counting right now. How much? How many points do we need? What do we have? Okay, we'll just kill Magni. Unless he's too vain and he wants to go for a high score. Who knows? But you already know, actually. So I'm the only one in suspense here. Uh, I guess we can look at the defense. So if you didn't hear it last video, let me know how many flags it is common for defenses in your alliance or in your alliance matchups to eat. And then let me know what sort of level you're at, if you're high tier, mid tier, low tier. Because I feel like I never see more than two. Which feels disappointing, but maybe that's as good as I can hope for at this point. So we had a one shot, and then we had two flags there. Another one shot. Another one shot. Another one shot. And another one shot. Ouch. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, it's not the most threatening team. It's certainly not a bad team. Limit Broken Elizabeth can cause a lot of problems on her own. But why? Are you doing that? 51 points. Is he going for top score? Where is this guy? I must have missed him. Oh, I'm looking at fucking blue teams, that's why. Red teams. The enemy. 51 points will be not the top score either. Very strange decision. I guess he really wants to earn the victory. Crazy. Alright, um, please hit that like button and subscribe. We have memberships as well where you can help support the channel and get exclusive members-only perks for yourself as well. So check that out with the link in the description. There Excuse me, there are three tiers, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Um, so, thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. He went for the clean, or he went for, he went for the one shot and he failed, and they lost. Oh my god, they had this, this for the win. I mean, like, fair to them, I guess, for attempting the one shot and really wanting the clean victory, but this guy's like shooting one shots 
almost consistently. He failed one, um, but goes for the final one shot and fails, and they lose by 12 points. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, we did... Well, I don't want to say we didn't deserve that, because we played quite well too, over 7,000 points. Um, 7,100 points. But what was this guy thinking? Oh, I bet his team is so pissed. I mean, they were all kind of making questionable decisions. Not all. That's, that's an exaggeration. Some of them were making questionable decisions at the end, going for cleanups before knowing whether those would give them enough points if they fail to hit. So, uh, I, I just couldn't believe it. I had to share my excitement because what the fuck just happened? We just won that. Incredible. So, time to go celebrate with the team. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.